Hello and welcome to this video clip. My name is Sarah Allett. I'm an allergy nurse specialist from the Northwest Allergy Network. The network is a collaboration between doctors and nurses with a special interest in allergy from around the region. Our aim and the aim of this video is to ensure that healthcare professionals, not only in specialist tertiary hospitals, but those in district general hospitals, GP surgeries and the community have the necessary information and training to provide the best care. By empowering healthcare professionals, this will ensure that patients with an allergy can be managed correctly. Most anaphylactic reactions occur in the absence of a healthcare professional. So whilst it's important to know how to deal with an acute situation, the main focus of this video is to effectively inform and prepare patients who might have a reaction. Adrenaline is prescribed for individuals that have an identified allergy, such as to peanuts, sesame, shellfish or venom. An allergic reaction or anaphylaxis is defined as someone who is experiencing breathing difficulties, shortness of breath, dizziness or loss of consciousness. Unfortunately, we know that the majority of deaths from anaphylaxis occur because the individual is not carrying their device, it's the wrong dose, or it's administered incorrectly. This is the reason why education and training is vital. The key factors are to ensure that patients know when and how to use their adrenaline auto-injector. The JECT simulator is used to demonstrate how to successfully inject adrenaline. By practising with the simulator, patients can familiarise themselves with JEXT and ultimately become more confident in their ability to act correctly in an emergency situation. Patients should be encouraged to use the simulator to train family, friends, teachers and colleagues to safeguard against situations whereby they cannot inject themselves. JEX is a pre-filled device containing a single dose of adrenaline. There are two different JEX devices. The yellow one contains 150 micrograms of adrenaline and is prescribed for children weighing between 15 and 30 kilograms. The red device contains 300 micrograms of adrenaline and is for those over 30 kilograms. On the side of the device there is a window. It is important that patients check that the adrenaline is clear and colourless. If it is not, it must be replaced. The simulator device is blue, it contains no medication, there is no needle and it can be reset for training purposes. On the side of this simulator the window is red indicating that the device is ready for training. I will now demonstrate how to administer JEX in an emergency situation using the simulator device. Ideally if the patient was experiencing breathing difficulties they should be put in a comfortable position. However, if the individual was experiencing problems with their blood pressure, they should lie down with their legs raised. The device should be held in the dominant hand, making sure that there is no thumb on either end. Remove the yellow cap and hold the device against the muscle on the outer thigh, halfway between hip and knee and between the seam on the side and the seam on top of the trousers. You need to ensure that the device isn't obstructed by coins or other items in the pocket. The device should be pushed into the muscle until you hear a click, indicating the device has been fired. Hold the device in place for a slow count of 10. Remove the device from the leg and massage for a further 10 seconds. It's essential that emergency help is sought after adrenaline has been administered via dialing 999 and stating anaphylaxis. You can see once removed from the leg, there is a needle shield. The shield will cover the needle that comes out when the real device has been activated. This helps prevent needle stick injury. It's important for patients to be aware that at no point will they see a needle. In the JEX simulator, once it has been activated against the leg, the window turns green. To reset the JEX simulator, the yellow cap is replaced and the needle shield is pushed back into place until it clicks. 
the window has now returned to being red, indicating that the training device is ready to be used again. Further information on Allergy, its management and JEXT is available on the JEXT and Northwest Allergy websites. Patients should be encouraged to register their adrenaline auto-injector on the JEXT expiry alert service. They would receive an alert via email or text when their device is due to expire. They can also obtain a free simulator device so they can practice at home to make sure they are confident to use the real device in an emergency situation. I'd like to thank you for watching today and encourage you to get involved in the Northwest Allergy Network.